wherever the summer takes you. Be on the lookout for pests. The spongy moth caterpillar is back, but we're told not as bad. With a recap of the other annoyances of the summer, here is Fox 44 Sam Israel. You can't think about the Green Mountain State without thinking of the state's outdoor beauty. I just like the outdoors. I like being away from it all. It kind of gives me a little bit of a break from the everyday reality. She keeps me busy. <laughs> There's not uh, too many a trails that I do that she's not with me. But other species also value the outdoors. In recent years, the spongy moth caterpillar has been on a tear. The trouble with spongy moth is that it's a large scale defoliator, so it can eat through a stand of oak trees, for instance, pretty quickly, and then you're left with no leaves for a portion of the season. I'm walking around and you kind of touch a tree as you go by. Sometimes you'll feel something and you look over and it's just hordes of them. The good news? The spongy moths aren't out in force this year and that's saving the trees. The amount of eggs that they laid last year were not as high as the previous year and that indicated that the, the population may be crashing. While you may not run into a spongy moth caterpillar, you could find a tick hitching a ride on yourself or your pet. I just grab it and get it away from me as soon as possible, and then I'm, I'm out of there. I haven't found any on her that have actually been attached. I have on other dogs, and if they're attached, you know, you kind of go through the protocol. Experts say timing is everything when it comes to finding ticks. So when you finish your hike, they highly recommend to check your skin. And do you have any messages to the ticks? <laughs> that might not be camera friendly. Do you have any messages for the ticks? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'd say go to New Hampshire. An expert says ticks are most prevalent in the Champlain Valley Corridor, but they're expanding and there's concern about disease. About 55% of the ticks in the environment are carrying the pathogen that causes Lyme disease. And then there's a plant to watch out for, wild parsnips. They can cause harm on contact. The wild parsnip are particularly troublesome because they have a uh, sap that if you were to bump against the plant and that sap can get on you and cause blistering. A Vermont botanist says wild parsnips have been expanding rapidly. Seems like year to year they'll just show up in a new town. In Williston, Sam Israel, Fox 44 News.